does she notice the things I notice? Does she notice? Whoa. All those, all those burgers and all those damn oversized fries starting to hit me. Passion practices piano on her thigh. Tell you what though, it is nice to be doing something touristy. I've, uh, I've been absolutely non-stop for the last 10 days. Vegas, South Carolina, LA, videos. Seven videos, this is the seventh video that I've filmed in 10 days. Which is, I mean, for anyone that makes videos or makes content out there, you can appreciate how much work that actually is. So, what I'm trying to say is, to be able to come up here today, just take a second to reflect on everything up in the hills. Know that I pretty much, I did everything that I wanted to do in this trip. Got to connect with some amazing people, find some unbelievable stuff, and make some really cool videos. They were the three aims, and we've been able to do it. So I mentioned in my first video of the series that I was a little bit nervous coming over here initially. It was a big risk. There was a lot of doubt. I wasn't sure if it was the right move to be taking. I am working for myself at the end of the day. So you know, spending eight to $10,000 to come away on a 10 day trip to America, is that the smartest move that you could be doing for your business? But uh, it was all quickly put to rest by the time I got to Vegas and I went to the YouTube conference. I just spoke for the very first time to like-minded people. And um, that really just immediately opened up my eyes and it also just made me realize that I am doing the right thing and I should be over here. Um, it's the best way to grow as a creator. And um, to hear every, all, the, all the stories um, from the, the guys that are really killing it in the game was, um, was super motivating. I actually even bumped into uh, the flipping accountant um, and, and we filmed a little piece that I wasn't able to edit into the first video of the series, but I'm gonna play it for you now. And we, we spoke really quickly about risk taking, which was the theme of that first video. And I asked the flipping accountant who I bumped into, who I've watched, he's an awesome YouTube channel in the reselling space. I asked him what his thoughts were on doubt. You know, uh, the, the risk of not trying something is kind of the biggest risk of all. Yeah. You know, you started this channel, you came all the way to America, which is amazing, by the way. I yeah. commend you for that. <laughs> it's awesome to be here. Uh, but the thing about all these things that have, have come from it, you took that risk to come here. Um, you're at this cool conference, you're going to travel around and meet a whole bunch of people, and you get to share your journey with your audience too, which I think is pretty amazing. Yeah, that, that's so to be here too. First video out yeah. on this trip. So, yeah. No, look, I think you're spot on. Take your risk is, is always the best thing to do. Give things a chance. Yeah. Um, and you know what? If I never took the risk two years ago to make a YouTube channel and start an eBay business, I wouldn't bump into you and I wouldn't be at cool conferences like this. Yeah. So, well, I appreciate it. I'm glad you did. The Flipping Accountant. Go and see him. I'm sure you've already called him. You've got a pretty decent channel. How many subs? Uh, I do okay. Uh, I just hit 39,000 a few days ago. 39,000. Go and give him a follow. He's got a lot of good info. Any Americans out there, he's, he's a CPA, <laughs> so he's probably got some good advice for you. But um, stoked to meet up, mate. So that was really cool. It was actually awesome to connect with him for pretty much the entirety of the second day uh, of that conference. And um, to hear guys like Gary V speak as well, um, that YouTube conference was just epic. And then to link up with Art as well on the, on the third day in Vegas and, and find some really cool items with him and make an awesome video. The first leg of the trip was a whole heap of fun. Then after four short days in Vegas, I was off to South Carolina. This was a massive bucket list item for me, guys. The number one thing that I wanted to do over here was to meet Harry Tornado. And to film a video, go to their flea market, something that I've watched for a very, very long time. So to be able to link up with those guys was just incredible. Top of the morning, mate. <laughs> Josh has got one of the worst Australian accents I've ever, I've ever heard. And it wasn't just the flea market either. Josh and Haley actually gave up their entire weekend to make sure that I felt really welcome. We went out for breakfast, dinner, we even went bowling. I mean, they, they really just, oh, I wasn't anticipating that they were gonna do that, um, but they did. And um, it just really goes to show the sort of people that they are, um, just really accommodating, happy to look after me. And um, I just found that experience in South Carolina, albeit just two or three days. Um, yeah, I just learned so much because Josh is one of the best in the game. Uh, when it comes to reselling, you know, over 300,000 subscribers, he gets 100,000 views a video. And the fact that he was happy to even link up with a guy that's got 8,000 subs all the way over in Australia um, to do a video was just, 
to be honest, I'm, I'm shocked by it. Um, so a huge thank you to Josh and Haley. It's, it's certainly probably been the highlight of this trip. Just there. And I know it is the last day of the trip, but it's also a pretty special day as well because we've just hit 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. Josh and Haley and Art, they all had a massive say in getting me here. I think I've grown about 1,500 subscribers, about 15% of my entire channel growth uh, in the last 24 hours. So I've obviously got a huge thank you to those guys, but this has been two years in the making. I'm uh, only a month away from being two years on YouTube and I've basically put out consistent videos three a week for the last two years. And a lot of you guys have been there uh, for a fair chunk of that period. So to see 10,000 there, it's, um, it's something I've really been aiming for for a really long time. The goal is to hit 100,000 subscribers and I really do think that I'll be right here by this wisdom tree uh, for 100,000 subscribers. That's gonna be the goal. The minute I get close to 100K, I'm coming back here and I'm coming up to the tree. But um, yeah, just an awesome thrill to be here and pretty exciting times ahead. We're on the final stretch. Well, technically we're actually here. So I can see the Hollywood sign directly below me. Pretty incredible. So glad I came up here today. On one of the best days here in LA too. But guys, mark my words, 100,000 subscribers. I'm gonna be back here. It's gonna happen. And then the last stop on the trip has been here in LA, a place that I've been a number of times before. I absolutely love it here. I'm always happy to come back. I was just a little bit disappointed the Lakers didn't make the finals because uh, game one's not too far away and I would have been able to catch it. But um, look, LA's been awesome. It was three full days, including this day. So Melrose Avenue, went out onto Melrose Avenue because I'm, I'm staying in Hollywood and it was just a really close option on an Uber be able to hit up a bunch of secondhand stores and they were basically hand-picked secondhand stores and I was paying a little bit more than normal but it was just sort of that you know once in a few year opportunity um, to be able to sort of just cash in buy really cool tees like I've got on now this is one of them in Fresno State or Florida State I should say um, but I bought a heap of them um, and that day was just epic to be able to go into those places and even pick up the Jordan ones that I was able to find as well. Um, and I'm actually going to make about 100 bucks on those. So that day in Melrose Ave was just epic. Uh, and then we uh, we went out to the Goodwill bins. It's something look I've wanted to really do, um, but it's also something you guys have wanted me to do while I'm over here as well. So uh, that was an awesome video that just came out um, just recently. And um, yeah. That was just a wild experience. People just rushing for used shoe spins. I've just never seen something like that before, but um, there were some awesome purchases in there. Really cheap too. Spent 130 Australian and I got 47 items. So basically $3 an item. Um, and they were all pretty good too. So um, good, good day there. And then today up in the hills, ticking over 10,000 subscribers to round out the trip. Um, I just, I don't think I could have done anything more. I hardly slept. I slept for about four to five hours a night. Um, I was on, I think, nine flights in 13 days to get everything done and to do the collaborations that I wanted to do. It just meant that I had to fly a lot. Um, so to do all that flying and to get everything done and to publish three videos while I was over here. Um, I don't know. I'm to, to be honest, I'm pretty wrecked. But um, we'll get back home and like I said, we'll get straight back into it. Because um, when you work for yourself, you, you honestly, you just can't stop. It's just too much to get done, too much to do. And when you love what you do, you're happy to do it. But yeah, epic 10 days. And I actually think it's also gonna be something I'm gonna do every year as well. So it's too many, too many places, too many people, too many videos, too many cool items to not do it again. I feel like I've only just sort of scratched the surface and I feel like the relationships that I'm building as well, the relationships that I'm gonna have for a really long time. I know people are a, you know, a fair way away, but I still think that, you know, building these connections with the guys over here it's just a good thing to be doing. So that was a large focus for the trip and the fact that I was able to do that as well was pretty cool. All right, now for the hardest part of the whole thing is actually going down the mountain. 
You always get sore the next day from the decline, not the incline. Not too many people realize that. So I'm gonna try and do this as quickly as I possibly can and then go and get some lunch, which I'm not 100% sure on yet. I'll have to see what I get. Pretty over the fatty foods though. Don't think I can eat another burger or a set of fries again. Thanks guys. Okay. A few weeks ago, I said that I had some spending money to play with. We'd uh, hit the budget of $8,000 and we had about 750 bucks left over. So I've been thinking, what should we do with this extra money all trip? And I had a bit of fun here on Melrose Ave a couple of days ago and I made my way back to Melrose Ave, grabbed myself now for its coffee, one of the best coffees you can get here. And uh, I'm deciding, I've decided to go ahead and buy my all time favorite pair of shoes. Um, the Nike Dunk. Thank you very much, Thank appreciate you. it. Well, that's it guys, the trip's all over. Just smashed some dinner. Um, I'm about to board the plane and head back to Australia. 10 days, just gone, so, so quickly. But um, a whole heap of fun. And I um, just wanna say thanks. Thanks for 10,000 subs, pretty cool. I'm going back home pretty excited about things to come. And um, yeah, I just want to say thanks for your support. Um, that's really all I've got left for this video. I'm about to jump on this plane, hopefully get some sleep. And um, yeah, I'll see you back in Australia.